How's it going guys? Cody guys, back again, dropping out another video. Right guys, uh, this is a story, um, the person in this story is actually being caught now, but it, as you can see from the title, it's a, a convicted rapist, dirty animals that they are, that absconded from a Cat D prison, an open prison, um, and yeah, it's a local story to me, um, where he committed his crime. So the stories in the Manchester Evening News, link in the description below like I always do. Headline reads, Rapist on the run. Police hunting man described as every woman's nightmare. We are warning the public not to approach a man who has absconded from prison. This is obviously a thing you know, he's been caught guys. So, uh, A rapist serving a life sentence has escaped from an open prison and police have warned the public not to approach him. Wayne Jones is described as every woman's nightmare after he was jailed for breaking into a house in Stockport and raping his victim in 2004. He held a screwdriver to the woman's throat and threatened to stab her in the face during the sickening attack in Heaton Chapel. A court heard. Now, the, the now 39 year old absconded from Category D North Sea Camp Open Prison near Boston in Lincolnshire on Sunday evening, and police have urged people to report any sightings of the fugitive. Lincolnshire police said we are warning the public not to approach a man who has absconded from prison. He is described as 5 foot 7, of small build, with brown hair and brown eyes. He has a scar under his left eye and a tattoo on his left wrist. If you see him, do not approach him but call Lincolnshire police. On 999, quoting incident 367 on November the 26th. Jones was sentenced to life imprisonment at Minchell Street Crown Court in April of 2005. A court heard how the, uh, the victim sorry, found the hooded Jones, then of Hillgate Stockport, standing at the end of her bed before he held a screwdriver to her throat and threatened to stab her in the face. He then frog matched her downstairs and raped her. Jones was jailed for life under two strokes and you're out legislation which was new at the time after admitting rape and burglary. He had previous convictions for holding up a chemist at gunpoint in 1997, the court heard. After, hearing, uh, after the hearing, a detective said Jones was every woman's nightmare and described the attack as one of the most depraved crimes he's ever dealt with. Sentencing Judge Timothy Mort said, It is quite clear that you have been viewed as a significant risk to the public. This rape was truly horrendous. The public can report sightings of Jones to... I, there's an email address there, guys, but like I said, he's been caught now with the incident 367 as the subject line. He's been caught now. I'd never ask anyone to report people and stuff like that, but if you're a paedophile or you're a rapist, guys, and this guy was still at large, I would tell you guys, to, if you saw him, to obviously ring it in um, because th they just deserve... You can't... This is the thing. So he's, the prisons are categorised, guys. Cat A, Cat B, Cat C, Cat D. Cat D is... Probably the most like you've got more freedom in a cat D than you will have in a cat C. More freedom in a cat C than you'll have in a cat B. And more freedom in a cat B than you'll have in a cat A. Um, and this guy had worked his way like through the system, ready him for release. Um, and then he absconded. And it always seems to be, um, when it comes to absconders, it always seems to be rapists or paedophiles. It really, really does. There was a story that I covered recently where um, a convicted paedophile um, had left the cat D prison down south. And went to a school and kidnapped a child. Again, I'm sick of saying it. This guy was a rapist, but paedophiles. You go to prison attracted to men, you leave attracted to men. You go to prison attracted to women, you leave attracted to women. You go to prison attracted to children, sexually attracted to children, you leave sexually attracted to children. And you cannot, you cannot rehabilitate a sex offender. Bullet to the brain, castrate them. Or fucking hang a two a two foot rope off a off a six foot drop. You cannot cure these people. Some you can't go on a sexual harm prevention course or like a, these sexual or these sexual offenders programs that they put in prisons, right? And expect oh, oh right because you're having a bit of psychotherapy that you're gonna you're gonna change. Doesn't work. You cannot rehabilitate sex offenders. I'm gonna leave you with that. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.